remove the bolts from the packaging. Look at your end triangle. Make sure that both of these are loose. If they're not loose, loosen it up. Locate your lower post, find the section with the three holes, line up this hole with this hole, and insert a bolt. Oh, other side. Like that. Should be the long bolt, and it should be the same length as this one. Add the lower secure pin. Ensure that it is lined up. And then tighten down the axle nut. You can adjust the tension based on how much friction you want in this joint. Once that is secure, you can tighten the end stop bolts just so that they don't spin lightly. Okay. Then you're going to add this Post. Tighten it down tight. The washer. Insert through. Add the other washer. And tighten it down firmly. It should still be loose. Note how it slides. Should slide down all the way into the slot. Next, add your alignment bolt to the next location up and tighten. Next, locate your chuck post and make sure that your nut is aligned still with this second to end hole. You should be able to remove the foam that was holding it in place. And with a tool, you can make sure it's centered. Make sure it is centered on both ends, as shown. Make sure the chuck wording is facing down towards the outside, away from where the hitch post is. Insert and align the two holes here with those two holes. You wanna make sure that you thread the bolt first into the side that has the nut. Keep threading it in to ensure that it goes all the way through. It'll take a while because it has to thread itself all the way through. The point of this is to tighten this bolt so that it pulls this shaft against that face. Make sure 
sure it's tight. Once it's tight, there should be no play in this joint. Have your second bolt. And tighten up both nuts. That is the end of the assembly for the hitch mount base. Make sure all nuts are snug prior to installation, especially double check these two. We're gonna assemble the chuck bucket. Move your bolts and take your stiffening arm and you're gonna want to put your stiffening arm through this back hole like so two far ends. And then next, you're going to want this bracket. Same thing. Pull it through. Nut. Other side. bolts here going through this stiffening arm and you're going to tighten all of them using the wrenches provided. those are tight you are going to want to remove this foam you will want to put it in the center here and locate one at the bottom of the, of the bucket here and that it's done. Make sure that all your bolts are tight on this upper assembly. 